This is Mia, who you may remember from last month's video where we celebrated her eighth birthday. We've had her since she was a year and a half old and hope that she'll be part of our family for many years to come. We always wanted her to have another dog to be friends with and keep her company and romp and play with, but we never had a house with a yard or a landlord who would let us have more than one dog, so it was the girls and Mia and me, and we loved each other. Then we moved here and it was the perfect place and the landlord said that we could start looking for another dog and so we found Bo. The people who surrendered him said that he was six, but he was clearly much older. He also had another name, but it didn't seem to suit him and so we decided he needed a distinguished elderly gentleman's name. And so he became Beauregard, otherwise known as Bo, Bobo, or Beauregard of no regard. I brought him home on a snowy February day, and he was such a sweetheart, the only question would be, would he get along with Mia? Turned out we had nothing to worry about because they got on just fine from minute one. <laughs> They were instant friends. I wouldn't say that Mia was particularly attached, but she did enjoy somebody to play with, somebody to snuggle with, and most importantly, the extra treats. Bo just fit into our life like a missing puzzle piece. From the very beginning, he was my Velcro dog. Wherever I was in the house, that's where he wanted to be. Under the table, next to my chair, by my knee. That was his favorite place. Another thing I noticed from day one was that Bo had multiple lumps and bumps around his neck and in his chest, and he also had particularly labored breathing, even when at rest. My mind immediately went to cancer, and this was soon confirmed by the vet. It was a very aggressive variety. Unfortunately, any life that he would gain would be made miserable by the side effects of the treatment, so we decided that we would treat as best as possible his comfort level rather than trying to cure it at his age. The tumors grew very, very quickly. The medication we gave him shrunk them for a time, but eventually he started losing weight, and he was very, very tired. We did the best we could to give him a full life and lots of love. He got to eat whatever he wanted, so many cheeseburgers, and we brought him to softball, which he loved. Being out there with the people and the other dogs, it was just the best thing in the world for him. But eventually, things slowed down. He started having trouble going upstairs, so we started carrying him up and down, and that worked for a time. Don't let me fool you there. She's not concerned about Bo making it up the stairs. She's concerned about him hurrying up so they can get treats. Through it all, Bo had the best attitude and always was just his lovable goofball self with his silly little smile. For the last few weeks, I've watched him going to bed every night thinking that tomorrow might be the day. I came home from work Wednesday and he was so tired. I knew that the next morning was going to be it. I called the vet and made an appointment. The tumors in his neck give off histamine, which makes him very itchy. So we keep him on Benadryl to keep him comfortable. But now the tumors had gotten so large that the amount of histamine they released couldn't be overcome by the Benadryl. And he was scratching them open and we just knew that there was no way to keep him comfortable anymore. I spent the moment loving on him and giving him all sorts of attention. And then we spent some time with him on the grass, just letting him roam and enjoy the smells. 
adding to things, he injured his leg jumping off my bed that morning before we brought him to the vet. Ugh. Luckily, it wasn't something that caused him a lot of pain. But we spent that last half hour or so just giving him as much attention as we could. And then we said goodbye. Our time together was short, only a little over five months, but he is definitely counted among the best dogs that I have ever known. Goodbye, my sweet boy. <laughs>